So we know that we are now covering verbs whose first root letter is guttle. And let's start to see how do we conjugate them in zman, uve, the present tense. Let's start with the verb la avod, the verb to work, a verb that we are already perfectly familiar with. Let's see what is the conjugation pattern. I can already tell you that it will be similar to verbs like lilmod. So we have four conjugations. And the conjugation pattern in the present tense looks like so. The verb lavot contains the root letters ein, bet, dalet. And let's just place them inside the axis, inside this pattern, and find out how do we conjugate it in the present tense. Oved, ovedet, ovdim, ovdot. Oved, ovedet, ovdim, ovdot. Lazor, to help. Same conjugation pattern. The verb lazor contains the root letters ein, sein, resh. So it will be ozer, ozeret, ozrim, ozrot. There it was oved, ovedet, ovdim, ovdot. And here it's ozer, ozeret, ozrim, ozrot. I would say in its conjugation pattern, considering vowel signs, it's very similar to lomed, lomedet, lomdim, lomdot. The only thing that changed here is the infinitive, as I mentioned. Lechol, to eat. Once again, four conjugations, and same conjugation pattern in the present tense. Ochel, ochelet, ochlim, ochlot. So the verb lechol contains the root letters alef, chaf, lamed. We place them inside the conjugation pattern, and we receive the conjugation ochel, ochelet, ochlim, ochlot, a verb that we are perfectly familiar with from the first module. Lachzor. So this verb can be pronounced as lachazor, but 99% of Israelis pronounce it as lachzor, and this verb is to come back. Why? Well, because the chet is a little bit different garo letter because we can hear it. Unlike the letters ein, hey, and aleph, we don't hear them, so we need to add an extra vowel just to make it sound, just for the listener to understand that there is a garo letter here. Well, lachzor has a chet and we can hear it because we're actually pronouncing it out loud. Lachzor is to come back. Four conjugations and same conjugation pattern, just like the rest of them. The verb lachzor contains the root letters chet, zain, resh, and let's place the root letters into the template, into the conjugation pattern. Chozer, chozeret, chozrim, chozrot. Excellent, guys. So now we found out how do we conjugate those verbs in the present tense. Nothing changed besides the infinitive so far. So the only thing that changes when the first root letter is guttural, is the infinitive in the past and in the present tense. We're still not talking about the future tense. In the past and in the present tense, in the conjugation, nothing will change. So, so far, so good. And I'm going to see you guys in the next lecture. And we're going to cover the past tense.